what is going on? Every now and then, I'll get this comment. Hey, Glendon, I love the content. I love the training. But do you have something for the average dude? And I hate that comment because let me tell you what's being said. Like, I'm a criminal minds type. I can infer and interpret things that are not said by what is said. And essentially, hey, Glendon, do you have some type of hack? esoteric knowledge, magic jelly beans that will, remain, will allow me to remain exactly the same yet yield greater financial results. That's what that statement means. Do you have something for the average man? And essentially what I try to do here is to create non-average people. I try to create exceptional people because here's the math. 75% of the country cannot come up with 200, with 2,000, excuse me. I mean, like 90 some percent of the country couldn't come up with 200K, but 75% of the country could not come up with $2,000 cash money within 30 days for an emergency. 75% of the country. The financial situation of America is deplorable we should save way more money than we should on average and we should handle money better than we do i remarked there is this trucking channel i watched and they're making a lot of youtube money and they're starting to do the american thing they went out and bought a new truck uh, a, a big mother truck then he bought a truck they're spending money they're spending money and this guy has a truck with a note on it and he has insurance because he's an over the road truck driver uh owner operator and if i could you know i, I want i really want to reach out to him and say look what you should do with this youtube money is take it and pay your truck off but that's not the thought process the thought process is when new money comes in it's going to be absorbed into what's called lifestyle creep and that's what's going to happen and, you know, being average means being financially dumb. And that may seem hostile or insensitive. I don't care because the stats are really, really bad. The average person who has a 401k, because everyone doesn't have a 401k, only has $92,000 in it. And these are 50 and 60 year olds. That is woefully insufficient for any kind of meaningful retirement. And being average means financing cars, because you know, uh, I did a video at Savage Finance talking about why rich people pay cash for cars. And I got, I will get pushed back because the American credit indoctrination system is so strong that people cannot envision walking into a dealership and paying cash. And there are videos that was like, that's just stupid. If you got that cash, you should put it in the market. And once again, remember what I said? 75% of the country could not come up with 2000. There was this one guy, he has a YouTube channel that is exposing digital marketers. And also someone left a comment that the people who create online courses are not being successful in life. Uh, I, this was my comment to this idiot. My first digital product was based upon a business that I was very successful in for 10 years. That was 100% false. Are there course creators who out there try to teach something they haven't done? Absolutely. But there is a number of course creators who have put together amazing courses that will help you, that will save you time, that will cut your learning curve because they have experience. So all course creators are not, you know, created equal. But this person who was talking about what's wrong with trading? And I asked this person, and I don't really expect to get an answer because when I, because see, part of this conversation is if you know it's possible to make money X, Y, and Z, whether you're doing it or not, that will prevent you from doing the hard work you need to do to start your business. Just having that knowledge that it's possible holds so many people back. So I will see if he will put down the number. And you know, also I show receipts. Y'all have seen the cars, you've seen the house, 
You've seen the checks. You've seen the 50,000. You, I put receipts up. I'm gonna start asking you people in the comments who are saying this stuff to provide receipts because I mean, would you lie to look good? Absolutely. I know there are people. There was, there was one person who was telling me some stuff I knew about internet marketing and I'm an internet marketer and I knew it was fundamentally untrue because there are internet marketers and there are successful internet marketers. If you're an internet marketer and you're not making six figures, you're not really that successful. You're not, just facts. But what we wanna do here, cause I've started up a new channel. Um, it's called the Mindset Coach. And that's cause you know, there, there's so many people who just like, this guy going back to who has the channel who where he talks about YouTubers who are way more successful than him, Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez. And this dude did a video talking about he wrote a hot check to his hard money lender. For those of you who don't understand, a hot check is when you write this check and put it in the mail, you don't have the money in the bank to cover that check. And he was gonna work and scratch up. So here he is taking shots at people who are way more successful than him, yet from a personal finance standpoint, this is what he's doing in his personal life. Yet the people who listen to him are haters. They're haters. Because anytime you take a channel like me, Kevin, me, Ch me, Kevin grew his channel by attacking Grant Cardone. And that's the, you know, Grant Cardone, if you don't know, it, it was a financial lesson in amazing financial literacy and because people are so full of hate, envy, and jealousy, they missed it. Grant Cardone has a private plane. You know why I got that private plane? Because the company made so much money that they took that money and spent it on a company expense versus paying taxes. But that, that lesson was so lost on people. Oh, Grant, he got the plane, he a big shot. Oh, I mean, this is a strategy that I'm deploying my holding company. I'm gonna tell you, cause see, once again, you're not gonna get average business advice here, or average economic advice. Let me tell you, I was sitting there and this started because of Savage Finance, because I'm realigning my holding company strategy for real estate. And as I was investigating, I realized that I, cause the holding company that I created, uh, Disruptive Asset Holdings, LLC. I put it in there that it was a property management company, but also put in there online courses. Now check this out. And this is not information that you're gonna get anywhere else in YouTube because people are playing it safe and they don't even wanna tell you this stuff. I could literally make $5 million a year from my online course sales, but because it's part of the real estate company, well, it will be because I, I got to change everything. I'm waiting to slow ass state of Georgia to approve this new LLC, which will be the operating company. And I got to actually set up two more after that. I can make $5 million in that holding company and pay little to no taxes. Let me say this again. The money that I leave in the company, I can take money that I'm making from online course sales. Let's say I had an amazing year and I did 5 million in online course sales. And that 5 million moved up to my holding company. Then my holding company deployed that capital from the capital account to an operating company to buy real estate. So literally I could take, let's say 4.75 million and dump it back in real estate because it's in the holding company structure and pay absolutely no taxes on that money. And then that money is in an asset that once the asset is paid off about seven to 10 years based on my calculations, then I will start paying taxes on that money. So once again, this is one of the reasons that I keep talking about financial devices and you making your own money because the, the like, when I sat down, I was like, wow, I can do this. So essentially, this is what's gonna put me in a position to get the rentals. Using my own money, paying virtually no taxes legally. Cause see, this is all about holding company structure. 
because the way I got a structure and this is why I got to create these new operating companies. But I, I was just blown away at not being average because see no one else. You, you can watch millions of YouTube channels. No one else is going to tell you what I just told you because they're not doing it. They're not practical technicians of their craft. They're not doing this. I was sitting there watching an uh, interview of Omni and the Hellcat, and he was talking about what he was doing and Gears TV and all this other stuff. And then, you know, he, he kept, he keeps saying that, you know, he found quote, a great area, but the FBI came and took his cars and seized his bank accounts on quote, a gray area. I did a little investigation. A lot of these uh, Gears TVs, IP, in the, in the IP TVs, they're they're going through the same thing. So there's clearly something wrong. And also with Omni, a lot of people like to do. You know, he seems like a you know good cat to hang out with. But I was listening to his interview, and he's only had money since 2017 up until two, two years. What if I told you people? about folks who were not used to money. They will not keep it long. They will do something stupid. They will give it away because if Omni and the Hellcat was a client of mine, it is estimated that he had 50 million in the bank. If he was a client of mine, he would still have 35 to 40 million. It's all about knowing the law and how to deploy money. But what did he do? He got some money and he started flexing. That's, you know, just like this couple with the trucking channel. And one of the things that I want to impart to you guys is work very hard not to be average. The average man is going to catch hell in 2021. Like right now, we have the stimulus packages that have propped up and supported the market. Now, we may not have another second stimulus package which is something that I said in my earlier videos because I went ahead and one of the reasons I'm not doing these stimulus check updates is, you know, I mean, it, it's just kind of pointless. They're not really doing anything. You know, once the Democrats win the Senate and the House, then I will start doing, because these Senate, these, these um, amazing, crazy, over the top um, stimulus packages become very, very real. But it's just not fun to just sit around and keep regurgitating and talking about wishes and stuff. I'm not, I, I don't have time for that. That's not enjoyable for me. But with the economy, and once again, this is why um, I am urging you to go get 30 days to 2,500. I, I'm urging you to get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. I'm urging you to sign up for the oxygen banking app. Full disclosure, Oxygen does not offer credit. This is something that I've learned from them recently, but it's still a pretty slick app for your banking. And I'm going to do some videos on Savage Finance talking about creating your banking structure and how you should deploy your money. Because one of the things when I created the first money management course, I had person after person tell me that when they went to their bank, the banker was kind of tripping because the banker was not used to seeing people come in and deploy their capital like that. They were like shocked because see, here's something that you know, a lot of business owners do not have proper banking protocols. They do not have proper banking structure. They don't have proper banking accounts. You know, you, you got someone out there who created a business and it, it became successful. They start making money. They don't have proper corporate structure. They don't, it's just a, it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. And if something bad happens, it's going to crumble and fall because let's take Omni and the Hellcat. What do we know about Omni? Omni has two children that I know of. What Omni could have done is take that money, took 10 million a piece for per child and put that money in a trust and the government wouldn't have been able to touch it. Wouldn't have been able to touch it. So oh, he could have had that 20 million or 30 million or 40 million in a trust for his children. And he, as the executor of the trust, could have managed and spent the money the way he wanted to. He just would have put this firewall between him and people trying to take his money. But this is the lack of financial knowledge. This is like I recently had a, a former Roll Tide uh, guy reach out to me about holding companies. 
And so many people have no clue to holding companies in credit because at one point, and this is the energy of it used to be possible. And as long as that's still kind of floating around, people um, will cling to it. But in this new environment, you're not going to start a brand new LLC and get P non peachy Visa, MasterCards and lines of credit. You may get non PG vendor credit, which is like if you're a leather company, you make wallets and you go to a leather supplier and a leather supplier gives you $5,000 worth of credit or terms and 30 day net. That's vendor credit. You can get vendor credit with no PG because essentially if you're a leather manufacturer and you're buying leather, you're going to use it because you need it to make money. But you're not going to get Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Cap. You're not going to get those financial products with no PG in the current banking environment. Well, and speaking of that, like one of the things that I'm doing with Savage Finance, because I've gotten burned not once but twice listening to other people, the Oxygen Banking app is one of the things. And there was another thing that happened where I actually went ahead and tested it and found out that they were not true. So anything I give you on like the applied banking secured visa, you can get that. I'm doing a video. The uh, secured visa that you get from applied bank is 100% guaranteed. They do not do a credit check because I went ahead and I got one and I looked at my credit report and they did not correct check my credit. And there's a few other financial products that I, because I got to test it out because like I said, I've gotten burnt twice listening to other YouTubers and putting out content. And I want, you know, I want to be assured that I'm going to give you guys real things that work, that are credible and effective because there's some more stuff that's coming next week. Uh, a real no credit check bank that I've actually tried. I went through the process. I've got the credit and you know, I know exactly how it works. So this is the reality because see, once again, this is an average because one of the things since I've joined, I started Savage Finance, I've seen a lot of financial YouTubers put out misinformation. And you know, they're putting out information that they heard from someone, but they don't know it to be true. And like with my video talking about why 401k is garbage, I know that to be true for someone on my level. I just started to notice after 2011 that a lot of traditional finance advice, it didn't work for me. Like I had a Roth RA that completely blew out the Roth and I started to live a non-typical, non-average dude life. And this is where this information is coming from. And the big pushback, like I said, you know, when I get that question, hey man, you got something for the average dude? Meaning, how can I stay exactly the same as I am and get more? Rent seeking, cheating the system, you guys are wasting time. You know, there, there's, I will say there is a group of people here on the channel. There's a few folks who have bought the products, listened to me, applied the lessons, worked really, really hard. There's one dude, I cannot remember his name, but he, he left some very sizable super chats. He has a job and he has a business that makes him $15,000 per month on the side. Let me say that again. He has a job and he has a business that makes him $15,000. Because see, this is one of the things that I've noticed that the people who listen to me, who don't, oh, I'm just as smart as he is, even though you have absolutely no receipts, the people who go, okay, this guy's been here, he's been a few places, done a few things, who listen to me, and they do the work, they get results. They get results. And they buy my courses over and over again, because it's like, wow, you know? This is a true story. I had a guy who was a hater. He was a hater. But he was a, you know, because this is the email he wrote me years ago, because this, at one point, if you didn't know, I was giving a lot of the courses at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills away for free. And he said, I got your courses. And I really thought that you were full of it. Then I got your courses and I went ahead and I went through the courses because it was like at one point 19 courses. And he went through course by course and then he created some businesses and stuff. And he says, 
This is the most money I've ever made in my life. I was wrong about you. And this was a former hater. But see, once again, the people who have problems with me, who get up in their feelings, is because I come from a position of truth. I come from a position of being open and honest with you and telling you how life really works. And a lot of people got a problem with that. They got a lot of problems with that because I'm killing sacred cows. Like for me, a 401k would be woefully ineffective because once again, I'm not going to have an average person retirement. About right now, I spend seven, eight thousand dollars a month to live. That's what my mom monthly spend is. I am going to create a financial device that's going to be way more than that. That's going to allow essentially when I retire, my lifestyle is not going to change. It's not going to change at all. I'm going to be doing exactly what I want to do. I'm still going to be driving luxury cars, still be living in a million dollar house. Uh, more than likely, since I have more time, I'll probably spend even more money. And this can be your retirement if you stop trying to remain average. If you stop trying to rent seek like right now with the millennials, the big thing is everybody's trying to do forex. Everyone's trying to be a trader. Everyone's trying to do options. And there are people who are having success. But I look at the math and I read the forums and I go to Reddit. The vast majority of people who try to do forex, try to day trade, try to option trade, fail. They lose money. And a lot of successful forex traders, if they're honest, they will tell you they took losses for years. For years. Years. But once again, you know, if you want to be successful in Forex and day trading, go ahead and get your mind wrapped around it that the first few years are going to be rocky and you're not going to make a lot of money. And at that point, if you stick with it long enough and you learn the craft and you become a technician, yeah, you can start making some money. But why waste four or five years when you could go out and create a product or service and start making money instantly? Oh, that's because you got to work. That that that's the big problem. People just don't want to work. And that's why the average dude in 2021, mark my words, even with the Democrats winning the House and Senate and presidency um, and creating additional stimulus, we're going to see bad, bad things. It's not going to be enough to stop the housing market from crashing. It's not going to be enough to because see, at some point, your unemployment is going to run out unless they rewrite the laws and give you extended unemployment, which may be the uh, basis for universal basic income in the future that may come we will talk about it as we go along but essentially my message to you today is forget about being average forget about being average and let that go forget about rent seeking and just like i'm gonna take my time and energy i'm gonna create a business of service that serves my fellow man and i'm gonna start making some money because, you know, to the person who was like, what about trading? What's wrong with trading? Like, if you don't, because this is the new social media policy. If you go ahead and put some stuff here and I ask you a direct question, person to person, and you ignore it, I'm just going to delete your comment and we're going to keep it moving. Because a lot of people will comment based on knowledge, just like these people who create courses that they don't know how to, you know, actually, they're not very good at doing what they're trying to teach. There are many people who will post a comment based on assumptions and super and substance supposition on things that they are not even doing. So it, don't even put them there like, you know, if you're like a trader and like, I'm going to check you, I'm going to ask you and people get offended when I ask for receipts, but they have no problem asking me for receipts. They get offended. It's like, why are you questioning me, man? I ain't got nothing to prove. I'm a grown man. Don't... Liar. That's what you are. You're a liar and you know it and you hate the fact because see, I will fact check you. I got someone that put something in, in there about um, people getting reparations. And I went ahead to the Google machine and found out that yes, Germany was giving reparations to Jews and this was put in effect in 1952. This wasn't a recent thing. And the Indians sued the government for a lawsuit and they had a lawsuit settlement. So once again, this wasn't quote reparations and that whole reparations thing is 
once again, you have it in your mind, like, hey, man, I'm going to get me the money. And they're going to give me some money. Let that go. I, once again, it's someone like, well, you know, because I got a little money and I don't feel the need for us to get reparations. Um, I felt that the slaves, the people who were slaves, the people who were whipped, killed, family separated, mistreated, castigated, they should have got reparations. None of us were slaves. And right now in 2020, the opportunity that we have to financially move ahead is so magnificent, we don't need reparations. But the conversation about reparations, because essentially, if we were to get the reparations, and let's say that the government cut every black person a check for 250K, you know what would happen with that money? It would be spent on BS. The majority of that money would be spent on BS. There would be a few smart people who would take the money and invest it or buy some real estate and start buying income, but the vast majority of it would be wasted. Just my opinion. All right, so this is the drill. Go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Go below, get the hustler's mindset. Go below and sign up for the Oxygen Banking app. Remember, Oxygen does not provide credit. I'm gonna do a special video over at Savage about that. But I think the banking app is slip, it's really slick, and there's some more stuff that is going to come and more things I'm gonna talk about in the future about banking, holding companies. Because like, I am so excited that literally I can make $5 million this year and pay zero taxes. I want you to think about that. You know how powerful that knowledge is? Take my money, instead of paying the government, you know, X amount of dollars, take my money, buy myself income producing assets, and then pay taxes later at a reduced rate. The game is cold if you know it. The game is, you know, see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like, you know, trading the options and mitigating risk, because most of you guys are broke. Most of you guys don't make in a year without making the month, trading and options, all this. But once again, a lot of you are just lazy. You're just lazy. Because you don't want to be responsible and you don't want to have the, the responsibilities of running the business and serving customers. That's pretty much where you are. So with that, go below, get 30 days, 2,500. Go below, get the hustler's mindset and go below and get the, banking, the oxygen banking app and I will see you in this next video.